Hello and welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today we're going to be solving two-step linear equations. Now from the title, you're going to have to use two steps in order to find your value for x. Let's get started. Now whenever you have to solve a linear equation, I always suggest reading it to get an idea of what operations you're dealing with. Because remember to solve a linear equation, you have to do the opposites of the operations to actually find out what your answer for the variable is. So for my first example, it is five times, I'm gonna write the word times, five times x added to one equals to 16. Now notice all of the operations are on the left hand side. I have a times and I have an addition. So in order to solve this, I have to go backwards and I have to do the opposite. So reading I go this way. So to solve I gotta go the other way. I'm gonna change my pen color. Uh, let's change it to, let's see what's a nice color, pink. So to solve it, I have to go the opposite direction, which means I'm going to have to perform a subtraction. Okay, let me write the word in pink. I have to perform a subtraction first. I have to subtract. And then the opposite of times is divide. And I have to work in this direction. So subtraction first and then division, which means I would have to subtract one and then divide by five. So let's take a look at what solving looks like. So to help me with my solving, I usually put a box around my variable. Now connected to my x is 5 by multiplication and 1 by addition. Now this box helps me. It helps me to let me know who I should get rid of first. So because the 5 is directly connected to the x, I will not eliminate that first. So whoever is touching the box, don't get rid of first. That person is removed last. So we're going to get rid of the one first. Now the one is connected by addition, so we do the opposite. We're going to subtract one on both sides. And notice I wrote minus one here and minus one here. And I put it under the 16 because they're like terms. Now remember when the signs are different, you subtract. 1 take away 1 is 0, so that's eliminated. I'm going to bring down my 5x because that's what's left. Over here on the right hand side, I'm going to combine. Now remember when the signs are different, you perform a subtraction, which would give me 15. Because 16 is bigger, my answer is going to be a positive 15. I'm not finished. I still have to get x by itself, so there's my box. So I need to get rid of the 5. Now remember, the 5 is connected to the x by multiplication. And the opposite of multiplication is division. And to divide, we're going to use the fraction bar. And who are we going to divide by? 5, because we want to get the x by itself. So we need to get rid of the 5. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. That's eliminated. You have x equals and over here, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now we can check our answer. So the equation was 5x plus 1 equals to 16. So I have 5 solving for x. We solved that x was 3. So wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it by its numerical value. Plus 1 equals to 16. So this looks a little bit like plug and chug. I have multiplication and addition, so I would multiply first. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 equals 16. So if I add 15 and 1, 16 on the left gives me 16 on the right. So my answer is correct. Okay, let's try another example. So over here, I have negative 2 times x. I'm subtracting 6 and I am equals to negative 10. So notice all your operations are again on the left hand side. So we have multiplication and subtraction. 
So I'm going to put a box around my x. That box tells me not to touch the negative 2. So I have to get rid of the 6. The 6 is connected by subtraction. The opposite of subtraction would be an addition. And who you're going to add? You're going to add 6. So you're not pulling numbers out of the sky. We want to remove the 6. So we do the opposite. Opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. And you must put it on both sides. Please put the plus sign on the other side so you have an idea of what you're doing when you get to the right hand side. Okay, this is eliminated. Bring down everything, which will be the negative 2x equals, remember when the signs are different, subtract. Now because the 10 is bigger, my answer will be negative 10. Now here, the negative 2 is connected to the x by multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. Who we're going to divide by? Negative 2 because we want to remove that because we want to isolate that x. The negative 2 cancel each other out, leaving you with 1x. And then over here, we're dividing 2 negatives gives a positive and 4 divided by 2 is 2. If you want to check your answer, negative 2x minus 6 equals negative 10. Negative 2 times positive 2 because that's who we set our x's. Minus 6 equals to 10, negative 10. Over here, when I multiply negative 2 times positive 2, I get a negative 4. Take away 6 equals to negative 10. On the left-hand side, remember when the negatives look like they're following each other, you're going to add and keep the sign. So on the left-hand side, I get negative 10, which is equivalent to what the right-hand side has as a negative 10. So my answer is correct. Okay, let's try some more examples. Again, we're solving for x, so I'm going to put a box. Remember, I can't get rid of the 4 first because that's directly touching the box and the x, so I have to get rid of the minus 7. So the opposite of minus 7 is a positive 7, and I'm going to add that to both sides. This is eliminated. I'm going to bring down all of this, even the sign right here. So minus 4x equals... Over here, the signs are the same, so I'm going to add and keep the sign, so that will be 12. Again, if you read this, negative 4 times x. So if I want the x by itself, I have to get rid of the negative 4, which is connected by multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So you're going to divide both sides by negative 4, because we want to remove that 4, negative 4. That cancels leaving you with x equals, and then over here we'll do the arithmetic, 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. Remember, when you have the calculator on the test, you cannot input this in the calculator. Also notice on the calculator there's no equal sign. All you can do with the calculator is arithmetic. So all I can do with my calculator is put in 5 plus 7, which gives me 12, and then divide that by negative 4. And notice I got negative 3. That's all I can do. Okay, let's try another example. Negative 24 equals 3x minus 3. Here's another hint. Now always look to see who you have more of. Now I have more integers, so I have two integers, the negative 24 and I'm going to include the sign here and the negative 3. So I have more integers and only one variable. So whoever you have more of, you get rid of. So I have to get rid of an integer. And when you're going to get rid of something, get rid of who is connected to your variable or who has a connection. Like I wouldn't get rid of minus 24. It is not connected to anything. So if I put my box, I'm not going to get rid of this 3 right here, but I'm going to get rid of this one, okay? This one is connected to the box directly, so we can't get rid of that yet. We're going to get rid of this one, and since this is a subtraction, we do the opposite. I'm going to put plus 3 here and plus 3. That's eliminated. I'm going to bring down my 3x equals, the signs are different, so I subtract keep the sign of the larger and it doesn't matter where your x is if it's on the left or the right just remember who you're solving for again here this is three times x 
the opposite of multiplication is division so there's my division which is my fraction bar and who do I want to get rid of the 3 so I'm going to divide both sides by 3 that cancels there's my x and then negative 21 divided by 3 is negative 7 again if you want to check your answer I have negative 24 equals to 3x minus 3 on the right, oh sorry, the left hand side I have negative 24. On the right hand side I have 3. The x worked out to be negative 7, so I'm going to replace x by negative 7 minus 3. When I do the math on the right hand side, 3 times negative 1 is negative, sorry, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And I'm going to subtract 3. Now remember when it looks like the negatives are following each other, add. So 21 plus 3 is 24, and keep your sign. So notice on the right hand side I got negative 24 which is equivalent to the left hand side negative 24 so my answer is correct. Last two examples. So over here I have x divided by 2 take away 1 equals to 7. I'm going to draw my box around my variable. Now notice who is in contact with that box the 2 so I'm not going to get rid of that first. I'm going to get rid of the 1 first. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. All of this comes down, so the x over 2 comes down equals 7 plus 1 is 8. And remember when we were doing the multiplication principle? Whenever you have a fraction on one side, to get your answer, remember we just multiplied? And I multiplied diagonally, so x equals... 2 times 8, 16, and you're done. If we want to check, I gave you x over 2 minus 1 equals to 7. We worked till x is 16, so that's 16 divided by 2. Take away 1 equals to 7. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Take away 1, and yep, 8 take away 1 is 7 equals to 7. So my answer is correct. Final example, I have minus 5x minus 33 equals to 6x. Again, remember that little trick. Who do I have more of? I have more variables. So I have two variables and one integer. So who am I going to get rid of? A variable. Which variable am I going to get rid of? The one that has a connection. So you see the 6x? Connected to no one. So I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get rid of this minus 5x because that's connected to someone. Now because that's minus 5x, I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to add 5x to both sides. These two are like terms so I can put my 5x under my 6x. That's eliminated. I'm going to bring down the negative 33, bring down the sign, don't drop it off. Negative 33 equals signs are the same, so I'm going to add 6x and 5x is 11x. Again, we're solving for the x. I want to get x by itself, but the 11 and the x are connected by multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 11 because I need to get rid of the 11. The 11s cancel out, leaving me with x all by itself. And then over here, when I divide, negative 33 divided by 11, I get negative 3. If you want to check, negative 5x minus 33 equals to 6x. We found that our x was a negative 3. So wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it by negative 3. I'm now going to do my arithmetic negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Take away 33 equals negative, sorry, positive 6 times negative 3 gives me negative 18. Now over here on the left hand side, they're asking me to subtract, which I will the normal way. So if I do 33 minus 15, I get 18. But because the 15 is leading, my answer will be a negative because you can't really take 33 from 15. You'll get 15, but you'll need some more numbers. And that equals to your right-hand side, which is negative 18. So the left equals the right, so your answer is negative 3.
And again, if you don't like to write your answer like this, you can just you know, switch them around. So x equals negative 3. Just remember when you switch them around, make sure any signs are still there. I hope this video has been helpful. Remember when you're solving linear equations, your aim is to isolate the variable. Always look to see who you have more of. So if you have more integers, you will get rid of an integer first and always get rid of the integer that is connected to something. If you have more variables, then the variables will go first and you get rid of who's connected to something. Always read the problem as well. That gives you an idea of what operations are in play so you know what what are the opposite operations you would have to use to unpack the problem. And this, remember how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide your integers. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck in your task examination.